Creative Europe is the European Union's funding program dedicated to cultural, creative and audiovisual sectors. It runs from 2014 to 2020. Over this period, it has 1.4 billion euros Europe-wide to support European projects that will find new audiences, travel across borders and encourage skills development. Creative Europe builds on the success of previous culture and media programs which have been supporting the cultural and audiovisual sectors in Europe for over 20 years. The culture sub-program supports any type of arts, culture or heritage organisations to run joint projects uh, between different organisations uh, to work in different and across uh, European countries. Since 2007, over 360 projects have been supported that involve UK arts, culture or heritage organisations. So the UK is already in a very, very good position to continue working with Creative Europe, the new programme. In honour of Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa. Seven line verse. Seven. The Media Sub Programme supports a wide range of players in the audiovisual industry. So it starts early with the development of professional skills, then we support projects at the early stages of development, preparing them for international market. Um, the following stage would be to help um, European films and TV programmes and games travel across borders in Europe and beyond, which is where we would support um, distributors, sales agents, exhibitors, who are in the business of uh, showing them, making them available to the audiences. Welcome the great Steve McQueen. Creative Europe Desk is a team of 10 specialists who work across culture and media. We provide advice to organizations that are interested in applying to both the media and the culture sub-programme. We have offices in London, Manchester, Glasgow, Cardiff, Edinburgh and Belfast. There is a call for um, applications um, every year for most funding opportunities um, and the applications go to the European Commission in Brussels. We advise any organisation that's interested in applying to either the culture or the media sub-programme and our advice is free and independent. I'm the general manager for LIFT, which is a pan-London um, arts organisation that has a biennial festival. So we work with international artists and communities and organisations in the UK um, and bring international artists over to London every two years for like a massive festival to showcase the work we do kind of year round. Our festival really kind of receives EU funding as a whole because so many projects that are part of our festival are part of those wider projects that are funded by Europe. Um, so there are specific projects that we've done specifically for a network. For example, Imagine 2020 is a network about sustainability and climate change. And we did a huge visual art piece by Michael Pinsky uh, in different monuments around London. So, you know, we do create projects specifically for networks, but a lot of the time we're making sure that those networks are funding work that we already want to do, that we already exist to do. It funded a bizarre project where we flew hot air balloons across London, playing a lullaby to wake London up at dawn. It funds um, collaborations with other UK organisations, our friends at Arts Admin. It also funds, which I think is one of the kind of richest things about the networks, is uh, kind of different workshops, laboratories, um, there's a project that we have called Festivals in Transition that works with different um, artists, producers, uh, want to be critics, um, and goes to different cities across Europe and asks them to respond to those cities specifically. Um, so it's just, it funds a really big cross section of what we do. There are many benefits um, to both us as an organisation, to the other organisations that are part of the projects that we work with, to the artists, to audiences. It's, it's some, there's something very kind of rich and lovely about working with different European arts organisations and visiting them in their venues, seeing how they work. It has changed us as an organisation. We've got far more friends across Europe, uh, far more people we can pick up the phone to and find out about 
artist or it's a way of seeing other people's festivals. Here's the breeze. Here's the shimmer. And I'm Alice falling down the rabbit hole. Well, I'm a producer and executive producer at Stone City Films, which is a small, bespoke film company. We were very, very uh, grateful to get funding towards uh, our latest film, Electricity. It, it helped us enormously. The film's about epilepsy, young woman who has epilepsy. I felt that would have international appeal because every country has people with epilepsy. And it's also a very poorly understood subject. So I thought it would be wonderful to try and shed light somehow on, on the world inside our, our young woman's head. Because I know who I am. The, the Creative Europe grant was most helpful in, in developing the film. So first of all, we got, we, we got Joe Fisher involved, uh, looking at the original book, Electricity, by, by Ray Robinson. So we developed the script. We did some initial casting where uh, we we got the idea of using Agnes, and we managed to do a little sort of teaser show reel to show what what it would be like, uh, because the original book and script it can come over as a little harsh, but as soon as Agnes was filmed, she just brings a real warmth and humanity to the whole character that. I think it just brought it alive for people and, and let them see that this is a film that would be wonderful to watch. The money enabled us to just, to get the visuals and the idea of what the film would be like, to be able to communicate that then to, to potential funders to actually get the film made. So it was fantastic, it, it really got us started and without it we would not have made the film. Sitting down with my fantastic co-producer Jenny Allenby, working out what we were going to do uh, with every penny of this grant, uh, and it made us just think very seriously about who would we approach. Um, it made us do the work, really, uh, to go and look at wh what distributors are out there, who would be interested, uh, what, what about the project would make it work, uh, who the audience was, what, what the budget would be, seriously what we would need to spend on, on all the different layers of the filming, uh, and who would be involved. I would definitely apply again. Uh, in fact, we, we have a couple of projects that we'd love to apply for, which this time might involve working with co-producers in other countries. So for us, that would be a, a sort of nice step up. Mm -hmm.